MK and I am back with another May I Scrap Lift You and today I am scrap lifting Natalie DeSosa. She is a design team member with Altenew and I fell in love with her two page uh, planning spread or I think it's a traveler's notebook. I'm not really sure. So I've done a bunch of pre prep work and it was a lot of die cutting. I cut out some slimline rectangles as well as some florals from these dies. I also kind of sort of did a rose just to see if I liked it, but I think I'm going to stick with these flowers. Uh, I don't know their names. I apologize, but I do happen to have two sets of these dies just to make it go by faster. FYI. I also pulled out this thickers sheet that is um, just called happy and I plan on doing a two page spread as well three photos on the right and three photos on the left so the first thing I'm going to start doing is setting up my frames kind of sort of like um, in Natalie's design now <laughs> Um, I clearly have a little bit more space than she does. So I planned on, um, you know, bringing in some of the squares a little bit over. Now, I don't plan on doing just one photo for a two page spread. I kind of want to do six. So I'm going to line up three of my horizontal photos to cover that gap that's in the middle of the design. That way it kind of still takes the shape of the um, inspiration layout, but also fills in the blank space. Now, I don't plan on doing any mixed media. I don't plan on doing any splatters. I don't plan on doing anything. I plan on gluing these rectangles down exactly as they are. Now, the wood grain that I am using had a uh, gold, what is that called? Um, foil. Yeah. Oof, boy learn your words. It had that gold foil on it. And um, it, it just, I'm not really sure. I think I got it from a paper pad because the branding strip that I cut off of it actually had, it was just white with a hole in it. So I'm not entirely sure where I got this particular um, wood grain. See, I don't even know what it's called anymore. I apologize. <laughs> So I'm just trying to get it lined up. Um, when I stuck it through my die cut machine, it's not, it's not real thin paper, but it's not the thickest of paper either. And so it kind of got warped or stretched in my die cut machine. So it wasn't laying down exactly flat like I would like it to be, but it's okay. It still works. Um, I am going to put one of the photos in the wood frame or in the frames exactly like the inspiration layout. And then I'm going to take another sheet of this wood grain to mat my other photos with. So this is what the wood grain looked like in its entirety. There's the branding strip I was talking about, which tells me it came from a paper pad. I just don't know which one. It might have even been a Heidi Swap paper pad, but I, I don't know. The last time I got one from her, it was pretty thin. Um... That was all wood grain or textured or something. I'm not really sure. So I am going to use my last little four by six piece for a photo mat um, for the photo that's going to be on top of the frames. Um, and then I'm going to use the photo mat. Uh, no, the wood grain. I'm sorry. I forgot entirely what I was talking about. I'm going to use the other wood grains for the photo mats for the other five photos. Yes, I am. And I am going off camera to cut out white, uh, white photo mats for each of these photos as well. I do it off camera because it's kind of boring. Um, it just is cutting a bunch of rectangles and then gluing them to photos. I, it just pops up the photos from the wood grain a little bit because they are kind of sort of the same color. I chose this grayish wood grain because when we go and we um, explore abandoned mines like this, um, well, actually, I, I have to correct myself. They're not the abandoned mine. Don't explore an abandoned mine. These are the outbuildings that um, a mine requires to function. So this happens to be the core shed for that mine. And basically what a core shed is, is it's where they take the samples of the dirt that they pull out to see exactly how much gold is in that particular area of the ground. And so they keep their samples and they label it by the date and the area and the geolocation, all that good stuff. Um, and so back in the day, they had to keep their samples. Um, I don't know why, in all honesty. 
I don't know why they keep core samples, but that's what it is. Um, I, it also is tested for other metals and um, precious stones as well. So, because we also have turquoise in our area, silver, lots of copper, um, yeah, gold, all sorts of stuff. Uh, rubies, or actually they're garnets. They were misconfused in the day. Anyways, history lesson is over. Now I am taking my flowers and basically, um, you know, just randomly putting them around. I tried to mimic what was in the inspiration layout, but I did not. I'm also taking these branches. Um, these branches are from a Tim Holtz die cut set. They uh, were his tiny tattered floral thin cuts, uh, I think is what they were. Um, he also did a leaf one, but I don't know if they were the exact same, if the flowers and the leaves came in the exact same one, because I kind of mixed them all up. Um, when I put them in my storage, you know, how I had them stored in uh, my binder. Anyways, back to what I'm doing. These leaves also came from this exact same die set from Altenew, these um, layered flowers or layered florals. Uh, I absolutely love the the layers and the colors of these. Now, I do use my Tonic Studios um, 8.5 by 11 papers for these, and the reason why I do for one, I have a, I have a ton, um, so it kind of makes it a lot easier for me to mix and match the colors. But for two, they fit perfectly in my die cut machine, so I don't have to cut anything down. I don't have to cut into a 12 by 12 um, piece of paper or try to find a six by six paper that I don't own um, to fit, you know, to match exactly in two to three to four layers, depending on what. Um, you know, what type of die it is. Some of them are very intricate and have five layers. That gets a little annoying, just saying. Uh, the smaller branches are also from the Tim Holtz line. And then I bring in a couple Stampin' Up! Um, dies as well, just to, um, you know, just to add interest and, and get a little bit more, uh, you know, variety in there. Now, these leaves right here are from the Rose... Uh, layered floral that I don't end up using. I end up just using the leaves from it. Now, I find it kind of weird how these leaves didn't have a layer, but I do like how solid they are and they kind of, they kind of add that backdrop that I felt like I was missing. So I really do like this. And I'm trying to also not, um, cover up the frames too much. I want those wood frames to be visible. So I'm tucking, I'm tucking some of the leaves underneath the wood frame, as well as on top of the wood frames. But I also am, or I also only glued certain portions of those wood frames down so I could tuck and weave stuff inside. Um, so I did cut out these leaves in two different colors and I cut them out in the exact same color as the layered leaves. So that way they don't stick out. Um, you know, I didn't want them to be noticeable. I wanted them to all blend in with each other. Um, so I just basically cut them all out of the same colors. So yeah, that is about it. Um, I'm sorry. I'm kind of, I didn't realize I was so zoomed in. You guys really can't see this left side over here, but you get the most of it, right? The majority of it. <laughs> I do like this. I know that it is a little bit florally. I do love my layered flowers. Um, I don't like them when I'm making them, but when it's all said and done and they're all put together, I do enjoy having them. Um, I'm, I know I'm not a floral person and uh, you guys are all freaking out about how many floral layouts that I've been doing, but I kind of made these um, on the muted tone because that's the kind of flowers we have here in the desert. Um, we, we have, they're more weeds than anything, but our wild flowers are very, um, they're not pastel, but they're very muted. They're very, um, I don't know the word, but dusty. That's the only thing I can think of is they're very dusty. So these little sprigs that I'm adding in right now are from a uh, close to my heart. No, I lied. I'm sorry. They're from a Stampin' Up! set. It was a special set um, that was only offered for, you know, so long. I think it's called Something Rosy. And then the white little leaves or the white little berries that I'm adding in are from another Stampin' Up! set. Um, it was like a frosty floral or something like that. It's actually a Christmas flower set because that makes sense. Yeah, it was. But, um, you know, I really like the dyes. 
in those different types of sets and I try to find those wherever I can. All right, finally committing to the flowers. I didn't want to glue the flowers down because I wasn't sure if I was gonna be able to tuck things underneath. Now I struggle with this one because I couldn't remember how I wanted it to lay down and it didn't seem like the leaves were lining up anymore. <laughs> <laughs> but that's okay. Uh, I think I'm going to be the only one that will actually notice that. And um, I run out of these foam dots. Um, they were a specific dimension. They are a little bit thicker than the other foam dots that I have. And so I just decided that two of them will be just fine for right now. And then I find something that is a little bit thicker that I think will be the exact same size uh, later, later. So just struggling a little bit, trying to tuck that flower or this photo underneath the leaf like I had it, but I put some liquid glue behind it in a spot where I didn't want it. So it doesn't go exactly back where I wanted it, but that's okay. And then this flower here, I actually tucked underneath one of the frames as well, just because I wanted that frame to um, stick out just a little bit more. Yeah. And then I'm trying to find a spot for all of my little white pieces because I absolutely loved them and I did not want to leave any of them out. I just feel like they add a little bit more uh, depth and dimension to all of, um, you know, to all of the clusters. So finally committing to that photo now that I need to put something on top of it. Yeah, almost done. I absolutely love, I've been wanting to scrap lift this, um, this set for quite some time. Now, I wasn't able to find um, anything but a blog post for the two-page spread that Natalie did, but her, her layout can be found on the Altenew blog, or not blog, I, yes, it's on the blog, but it's also part of the, when you go to find the slimline dies, and they have all the different ways that you can use it, all the different examples. That's where I originally found her layout. And so it just was, as soon as I saw that layout, I was like, oh my goodness, that is gorgeous. I, I just can't believe that. All right, now it looks like I am taking a few minutes um, to type up a letter. <laughs> I apologize about this, you guys. Well, now that that interruption is done and over with, I'm going to get back to putting down my title. Now, I knew right away that I wanted my title in roughly the same spot as what was in the inspiration layout because of the fact that her title was over on the left and in the blank space. Now, she did have a, she took the word, only one word, and she made it a two-liner. And so I knew that I was going to have a two-liner just because of how long my, um, oh, what is it? My title. <laughs> Forgot about it already. Just how long my title was going to be. So the, the mine that this was is the bullion mine. And then it's um, just the core sheds. That's all that we went, um, well, that's all that these pictures are, um, are of. And so I'm going to put them in really, really quickly and just spell it out. I didn't want to, you know, like do it twice and, and save you guys that, um, you know, where I already had it on wax sheet and then I already had it on, um, you know, and then I put it on the layout only because of the fact that, um, I knew exactly where I was going to have it in this blank space of the photo and the fact that it wasn't going to be like all special or anything like that. So I did find another um, dimensional that fit the exact same height of what the um, other foam adhesives that I ran out of. And that's it. Here is my finished layout. I am so pleased with how this turned out. I love these muted flowers. They They do remind me of the flowers that we have growing in the wild over here. Um, not exactly the same type of flower. <laughs> They're not as pretty, um, but the colors, I felt like I grabbed that very, very well. All right, I will check you all tomorrow. Be sure to um, check out everyone else that is playing along down below in the description. Just hit that show more button and you'll see everyone that's playing along, as well as if you go all the way down to the bottom, you'll see my link tree link, and that is where all of my um, links are for, you know, all my digital world stuff. Anyways, um, I will check you all tomorrow and yeah, see ya.